When was the last time stress waves went through your body? Was it 30 seconds ago? 20 minutes ago? Earlier today? Whenever it was, I'm sure it was recently. Those kinds of situations happen to all of us, all the time. Maybe you were drafting an email and you accidentally hit send. You know that feeling, oh my god, did I actually send that? Maybe something that sounded great in your head didn't sound quite so profound when you said it out loud, based on that embarrassing silence in the room. Maybe you got a phone call with the results of some medical records, and the news is devastating. Those moments of stress, big or small, make us crave resilience. We wish we could be strong and move forward. I see this every day in my work coaching top leaders helping them navigate problems like rebounding from failure, having difficult conversations, or just juggling the everyday demands of work and life. I believe that resilience can be learned. The most resilient people have learned it so well that it becomes muscle memory. Resilient people have replaced their human tendency to react, their body's visceral response, with three habits that I call reflect, repeat, and replace. Resilient people reflect on their values. Resilient people repeat their values again and again until they become automatic muscle memory. Resilient people replace their reactions, even their fight or flight reactions, with calm, values-based responses. At scale, these habits become automated allowing you to respond thoughtfully so you can get through anything. Crisis, pressure, stress, change, life. I had to go through the greatest crisis of my life to truly learn and understand just how important these habits were to my survival. Several years ago, I was running a software company. I had invested my life savings into the company. I was seven years in, and taking no salary. So the stakes couldn't be higher. I needed this company to succeed. And we were on the brink of success, the success that we had worked so hard towards for years. And I was faced with a situation that deeply challenged my values, values that I had held close my entire life. Justice, fairness, integrity, accountability, respect. I had two choices. I could continue to run the company despite the turmoil, or I could shut it down. And if I did, I would lose everything and more. The cost of shutting down my company was indescribable. I would lose every penny I invested and millions of dollars more. My health, chronic stress, sleepless nights, fatigue, migraines, and it would damage my relationships with family and friends. The stress of the situation weighed on me. I went from someone who was seen as strong to someone who was exhausted. And I leaked that exhaustion in the form of tears. I never knew when I was going to burst into tears. In the middle of hotels, airports, customer meetings, and once very memorably on a first date when he reasonably and totally innocently asked what I did for a living. This isn't a TED talk about dating tips, but I'm gonna throw one in for free. If you ever wanna guarantee that you aren't gonna get a second date, you could try uh, bursting into tears on a first date. <laughs> Here's the thing about resilience. It's not always pretty. Just like you can be terrified and brave. Just like you can be funny and sensitive, you can be resilient and overwhelmed. My body was telling me what my heart already knew. I had to shut down the company to stay aligned with my values. I've never regretted doing the right thing, despite how much it cost me. That single decision led me to the most turbulent, destructive, and difficult time of my life. To make my decision, I practiced the three habits of resilience. I reflected, repeated, 
and replaced. I want to walk you through those habits today. Let's talk about the first habit, reflect. You already have a set of values, and you use them to make thousands of decisions every single day. Most of our decisions are automated. If we made that many decisions consciously, it would be absolutely exhausting. Let's look at a few examples. Maybe you don't smoke because you value your health. Maybe you pick up litter because you value our planet. Maybe you give money to people in need because you value generosity. Values are powerful because they're part of you. They have been for a long time and they're durable. Values inform so many of the ways you move through the world. We make so many values-based decisions subconsciously, it's important sometimes to stop and consciously reflect, to ask yourself, what are my core values and why are they important to me? So I challenge you to write down your top three values. Put them on a post-it note. And put that post-it note on your laptop, your phone, your bathroom mirror, someplace where you're going to see it every day and be able to reflect on them. Habit two. Here's the thing about resilience. You've got to practice it daily. You've got to repeat your approach to handling whatever comes your way, because life doesn't stop. It's going to continue to push you, to try to throw you off your game or throw you a curveball. And just so you know, I am now totally out of sports metaphors. But you get the picture, right? Resilient people get ahead of it by practicing every day. When I ask people, how are you going to handle a high-stakes situation, they usually say, don't worry, I got it under control. And that's what I call the fallacy of resilience in high-stakes situations. We believe we can deal with them when they happen. We'll figure it out then. We'll make the hard decisions then. But then is too late. Why? Because we haven't practiced. We will be left flailing and unprepared. Like any skill or muscle, we've got to practice. We've got to build up that resilience muscle memory. Practice taking a deep breath when something catches us off guard. Practice pausing before we react. Practice living life in alignment with our values. I recently met a woman named Julie, and she identified fairness as a core value. And her company announced it was only going to pay bonuses to executives. And that didn't feel fair to Julie. Her team had done the hard work to make the company successful, and they were going to get nothing. So Julie honored her core value of fairness. And she asked her manager to redistribute her entire bonus to her team. She stepped into her resilience, and she didn't hesitate to do the right thing. Just like exercise gets easier when you do it day after day, so does resilience. It becomes natural. You gain confidence and you find your footing in your values. Habit three is what I like to think of as the final transformation, replace. Over time, something extraordinary happens. Once you've identified your values, reflected on them, and you've internalized them, and you've repeated your values by practicing them, you eventually change your behavior in a deep and lasting way. You do this so much that you replace your natural human tendency to react or avoid difficult situations entirely. This transformation takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. It starts with approaching every situation by asking yourself, which of my values does this situation challenge or call on me to activate? You replace. As you build your resilience as a muscle memory, it becomes easier to replace fight or flight with do what's right. Resilience as muscle memory is resilience at scale. Here's what I mean. Resilience is so much more than being strong in the moment. It's so much more than bouncing back or getting through something. It's about standing in your power, capturing 
every opportunity that comes your way and living life in alignment with your values. When you reflect on your values, repeat them in your day-to-day -day life and replace fight or flight with do what's right. Opportunity happens. Doors open. Confidence emerges. You respond to the good things in life just as powerfully as you respond to the stressful or the negative. There's a fearlessness that comes with resilience. You learn to apply it to anything in life, good or bad, big or small. That's what I call resilience at scale. When you can handle absolutely anything that comes your way, from daily challenges like difficult conversations to unexpected events like crying on a first date, to devastating events like divorce or serious illness or losing millions of dollars and watching a decade of your work and your life collapse around you. I promise you, when you build your life around your values and you practice resilience until it's muscle memory, anything is possible. Thank you.